Okay, this is a demonstration of the new on-screen keyboard that will appear uh, free with Windows 7. The keyboard has um, many improvements over the version that currently ships with Windows XP, so we're just going to have a look at, um, at those. Okay, so at first glance the keyboard has a slightly different layout, the keys are a different colour, but it works in exactly the same way as the old keyboard in Windows XP. So I'm just using my mouse here to select the letters that I want sent up to WordPad in the background. Now I'm sending these letters to WordPad but you could easily do this to Microsoft Word or even Internet Explorer if you wanted. At the moment it's same as before. Now one feature that's uh, been really missing from the current XB keyboard is the ability to resize the keys. Now with this latest version you can use the mouse to make the keyboard bigger just by dragging. This makes it much easier for head pointer users and people who find it difficult to click on the small buttons. I should point out that uh, for um, those people that are currently using the Windows XP on-screen keyboard, it is possible to resize the keyboard by downloading a free, very small utility from my website, which is www.blttt.org, um, and just aim for the section on on-screen keyboards. And in there, you'll find a utility called DOSK, D-O-S-K, which will resize the Windows XP on-screen keyboard and dock it up against an existing application. Now because using an on-screen keyboard can be extremely slow Microsoft have bundled in a very usable prediction engine. So I'm just going to turn that on here and now we'll see we've got an extra line here and this will contain the words that we're um, that it predicts. So I've put in an I, and here we are, it's predicted the word include here, and I want to select that, but I'm just going to add an S to the end. But I've saved myself a lot of key presses there. Oh, it's not quite right. So I'm saving myself a lot of key presses and the program learns your high frequency words. So the reason accelerating to typing came up just after an A and a T is because it knew that because um, I'd used it before when I was practicing. But if you uh, if the word doesn't come up, then you just carry on typing the letters that you want until the word is appears in this list up here. Okay. And then uh, another welcome new feature is the ability to access the keyboard using a single switch. So we just go back into the options menu here. And here we've got a scanning option. And this uses um, a block scanning technique. Where it uses ro row and then block. So here we go. And I'm going to combine this with prediction. Produce text quite quickly.
Okay. Um, the keyboard continues to offer the dwell delay feature, which they call hover over keys, which um, allows uh, access for people who have difficulty using the left click. So a head pointer user or um, somebody who's finding it very difficult to click the mouse button but can hold the mouse steady over the key. The dwell delay feature was very useful in Windows XP on-screen keyboard, but because the keys were so small, it was very difficult for people to keep the cursor over the key for long enough. But now that the keys can be resized, made a lot bigger, much easier to use dwell delay. So I'm just going to turn that on there. I'm going to keep prediction on. And now as I hover over the keys, once they fill up it chooses, you can see it's choosing it there. So Look for hovering. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> and just one thing to point out that we can see here we've got a space before the full stop. That's because when I choose a predicted word, it automatically adds a space in at the end, which means that. I don't then have to keep going to space every time, especially if I'm using the switch. But it doesn't mean when I put punctuation in, you do end up with extra spaces. With some other commercial software, that space will be removed automatically. But with the Windows XP on screen keyboard, that doesn't happen. But I don't think it's too much of a problem because you can backspace it out if you need to, or if it's something that's particularly troublesome, you can turn off that option there. And uh, that's the Windows 7 on-screen keyboard, which should be due out as part of the Windows 7 operating system um, sometime towards the end of next year.